Rubio, Beasley, Edwards, Bulmaro, three first round picks. You know what I'm going at here? Yeah, wasn't this the, uh, is this like the score north um, uh, Damian Lillard trade? Yeah, Damian and Robert Covington for that huge package. If it was realistic, would you would you pull the trigger? Well, first first of all, that trade doesn't involve D'Angelo Russell, right? Correct. So when remember when we talked about Beal and I was like, if the Wizards trade Beal and Rubio comes back, there have to be like we're also trading Westbrook. Um, yeah. You you're you can't have D'Angelo Russell and Damian Lillard on the same team. Yeah. That's that's just like a no from that starters. That's very weird. Yes. Um. I also think too, because I this is All a right, hot swap, t- swap ant with D'Lo. Well, th- then yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I just think in general, Damian Lillard, forget the package. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I just this is a hot topic in some of my group chats with my friends. Uh, I I don't know, and I'm gonna sound like an idiot. Maybe you should jump in too. Like I don't know if I would trade for him. He's awesome, but like. If Ant's on, if Ant had to be included, it's make or break. Then I like, would you give up? No, I eleven wouldn't. years of no. Ant for Lillard. I mean, your team becomes really good, but yeah. um, I don't know how much better. Like, I don't, I don't know. If, like, if your team was, if you made up a new trade quick and your starting lineup was like Lillard, Beasley, Jaden, not like. Covington. Bando. I guess, yeah, well, if Covington's in the deal somehow. Okay, but. let's say that because I know, I mean, Covington and Carl are just as close today as they yeah. were when he left. So, yeah, your lineup is Dame, Beasley, Jaden, Covington, Towns. That's a really good team. But, like, how many years does it do yeah. you have? I mean, Dame's 30 now. It's like, he's not, a, you know, he's just, he's five years older than anyone else in the current Wolves core. And, it, and this is probably a good way to wrap this up. But, sure. like, it also goes to would you would you want one year or 18 months maybe maybe 24 months of like maybe being the four seed or having a having a chance um but it's capped at two years oh, the or would you jimmy butler trap yeah yeah exactly kind <laughs> of like go through that. that again yeah that's a great point like would you rather have that or would you and maybe i'm biased because i'm on all these zoom meetings and, or these zoom calls and stuff like or would you rather just be like hey you're gonna have eight or nine years of a healthy Anthony Edwards. No, one team every year wins a title. Like one team, like the Bucks are going to lose to the Suns and the Bucks could go the entire Giannis experiment without ever winning a ring. Yeah. But having Giannis to cheer for has been fucking awesome. And for me, it's like, if I could just know that I have eight or nine years of Ant and it might still bring me a four seed, that's definitely the fan in me. But like, I just, I, I want to watch Anthony Edwards continue to grow. I just think that would be way cooler than just like you said another yeah yeah just another jimmy butler experiment lillard's probably gonna act realistically if he gets sent to minnesota how many years he just says get me the hell out of here i mean well yeah and that's a good point too it's just like um those guys have more gravitas to make those moves i mean he's gonna his contract probably rather go play with lebron like (laughs) right (laughs) right and i just and you know i don't know if he would demand out because i think sure like i think he's a an image guy like he 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 wants out of portland but he he doesn't want to say it yes Um, exactly I just, I just don't know, like... Once he's traded wo- once, though, he might just be like, all right, whatever. Right. You know? He's not loyal to Minnesota. But I just kind of think, like, I don't know, not to spin this to a Vikings thing again, but, like, like if you knew that you could trade Justin Jeff, and, this, and it's not a perfect analogy, but if you knew you could okay. trade Justin Jefferson for, like, Devontae you know, Adams. Devontae Adams, yeah, like, something like that, you know your team's going to get better yeah. for that one year or two years. But, like, it, would you just rather just watch Justin Jefferson play, dance, be at local events like be on the team for eight to ten years and then see what that path brings you because that's how i feel about ant i just rather yeah. see what that it's like it's like the family guy mystery box like boat thing um i do think simon or i do think uh lillard's like a boat but in this case i think i'd rather just have the mystery box because oh, sure. you know what i mean like it could be a boat but it also <laughs> yeah. like there's a one in a million chance it could be like a fucking yacht and it's just like let's and the yacht makes me laugh, and the yacht's cool. Exactly, yeah. The, so, it, it, he makes it enjoyable. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not in on a day. I just figured I'd throw this in there for the fun of it. We were going through trades. I stumbled across this one, and it's huge too. It's yeah, it's, I'm, it's not happening. I'm out on it too, Lillard for ants. It's just I don't like it. There's at no. All. It's just like questions. There's no bad trades because they get us talking. Like there's no bad trade oh, ideas. Absolutely, hundred um, percent. I think it's important. I don't. I don't worry about contract stuff as much. Like that's what the internet's for, and like the trade machine. But I do think 
it's important sometimes to like, and this is what people don't do, like think about the other team, right? Because there's a lot yeah. of times when me and other Wolves fans freak out online because we're like the punching bag for a trade offer where we're giving yeah. up a dollar and getting back like a, you know, 50 cents or a quarter. You got to think about it from other teams. Um, and that's why I think the Philly conversation is so intriguing because they don't want what you would think other teams would want for their young superstar. They want like win now pieces.